Tim, welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we are discussing the 2018 Baum & Mercier Clifton Balmatic, one of the most discussed new watches of 2018. It combines compelling value as well as technical sophistication. This is a watch that debuted at SIHH and immediately had people talking on the basis of its impressive power reserve, exclusive caliber, and the fact that Baum & Mercier is advertising a service interval of at least five years. Those are the highlights, but let's break it down in detail. Now, as with every watch, it looks best on the wrist, and it's important to note, on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the 40 millimeter steel case wears easily. It's a traditionally proportioned watch, but it's not traditionally sized. Traditional would be 33 to 36. This one's a robust 40 millimeters. It's also relatively slim in profile, as you can see with a generously domed sapphire, a conical bezel, and a stepped case flank. It slides easily under a dress cuff at 10.5 millimeters thick. Now across the wrist, this is where the watch creates a broad range of viability on a broad range of wrists. 46 millimeters from lug to lug means you could easily wear this watch on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters in circumference. Now for those of you who do wish to accessorize, Baum & Mercier has a staggering array of accessory options and you will find that the lugs use a standard 20 millimeter spacing. Between the lugs on this example, you can see there is a large rectangular scale, minimally bolstered, semi-gloss alligator leather in navy blue, monotone stitch with folded edges, and you can see that the lugs are drilled a little bit closer to the case by virtue of a semi-curved spring bar, so that you can actually pull the strap straight down around the tight curve of a smaller wrist with absolutely no stiffness. It doesn't rub against the case flank, thanks to the curved bar. You will note it thins out considerably as it approaches the pin buckle such that it's more flexible on the soft underside of the wrist and a more supple calfskin as you can see with the contrasting red stitch employed on the underside. A polished Baum & Mercier pin buckle with a stepped ridge and the Baum & Mercier corporate phi symbol, the Greek letter, branding this traditional component that is low in profile and easily adjustable on the fly. Now the case of the watch is sophisticated. It has just enough nuance to break up its profile in an elegant balance of polished bevel and satin finished sheer sides. Now the satin finish does run longitudinally just as the bevel, which helps to part the tops and the flanks of the lugs, unifies the case horizontally. You'll note the bezel is all of high polish and conical in profile. The watch maximizing the use of its gorgeous porcelain-like white lacquer dial. Now let's get close and give ourselves a bit more light and enjoy some of these details because they are rather exquisite. The timepiece belies its price with a almost enamel-like gloss to that lacquer dial. Now porcelain is the comparison that Bowman Mercier uses. I would compare it to enamel, and favorably so. It appears glossy, white, bright, even like wet paint. Now atop the glossy base, you'll note all applied and polished indices. So it is an applique dial, not a printed dial. You also note that the hands at center are a gorgeous polished and faceted alpha style rather than the somewhat heavier Dauphine ordinarily used on timepieces. You'll also note that the Lancet style counterweighted needle seconds hand beautifully kisses the track of the minutes and seconds outboard, and you'll note the detailing with Arabic numerals for every five minute or five second step. There is a rounded aperture that transitions down to the date wheel, and you will note the date wheel monotone in white to match the dial. Now the timepiece does feature a paucity of printing on the dial. I have to appreciate this fact in an industry that often prints novels on the dial side. Baum and Mercier, Phi symbol on the crown itself, all of high polish. Turn the watch over, and some would argue that this is the main event for 2018. The caliber is new, developed for Baum and Mercier in conjunction with its Richemont partner, Val Fleurier. It is a sophisticated 21 joule, 21st century automatic with an impressive 120 hours or five days of power reserve. That's achieved without a slower beat rate. So you have this, the high precision four hertz, eight beat per second, or 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. So you have that resistance to vibration or oscillation induced timing deviation. By virtue of a very solid free sprung architecture, you also have resistance to shock or bump induced timing deviation. As they say, the index is fixed. It cannot be jolted out of position. Thus the timing cannot be unintentionally altered. 
Automatic winding, it features a hacking or stop seconds function, and you can see the variable inertia balance bolts on the free sprung balance, a custom piece for this watch. Now this function allows you to stop the seconds hand and precisely synchronize the watch to a known accurate reference time. There's also a quick set function for the date, so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Protected to 50 meters water resistance, the movement is also nicely decorated, as you'll note. Cote de Genève linear across the skeletonized winding mass. You can see high polish at the center of the rotor atop its bearing, as well as on all screw heads. There is a tight and even concentric circular and overlapping micro perlage engine turning on the winding bridge assembly, as well as the half bridge of the balance. Snailing outboard on the base plate and between the bridges and the outer snell portion of the base plate, you'll see there is a beautiful blasted finish atop the base plate. Beautifully executed, high tech, and perhaps the most impressive secret is the one hiding in plain sight. Due to the twin spear twin level silicon anti-magnetic hairspring. The watch boasts an impressive resistance of 1500 Gauss. So that's its anti-magnetism or its anti-magnetic resistance. Now keep in mind, magnetism is now ubiquitous in a world dominated by high powered home and office electronics. Those electromagnetic fields can stealthily magnetize the hairspring of your conventional mechanical watch, not this one. You can see this handsome avant-garde and technically sophisticated offering, one of the best technological plays in its class, on our website, govbergwatches.com.